Vlog. My name is Megan. I'm an illustrator and a handcraft artist and this is my YouTube channel where I do a bunch of art related content. Uh, last week I took a bit of a break from vlogging and it was really nice. I feel much more recharged and ready to film again. We're starting another round of preparations for my March shop update and this month I want to try out a bunch of new designs. I'm also testing out air dry clay for the first time. So this week is just going to be a bunch of preparation. We're going to be sculpting, painting, testing out different things, maybe unboxing some stickers and thank you cards that I ordered. And yeah, just a lot of a lot of prep. I hope you like this video. Leave me a like. That helps me out a lot. And let's get started. Hello friends, so trying out air dry clay was definitely an experience. I've never tried air dry clay before, so I guess I just wasn't used to how important moisture and adding water is. It's also super porous and soft and sticky, so I had to get used to these different textures. And with polymer clay, I feel like it has more structure, so it's easier for me to mold things out. And I think because air dry clay is softer, I struggled in the beginning to get the hang of it and just getting the clay into the shape I wanted to and I'm used to achieving with polymer clay. But a huge plus is that air dry clay is super light. So when I use it for earrings, the earrings are even lighter than before. And weight is really important for me when creating earrings because the lighter the earring is, the more comfortable it is to wear. And I know a lot of people can't wear very heavy earrings because it hurts your ears. So I also realized that since I still need time to get the hang of manipulating the clay, getting a little clay cutter is just super, super helpful and just kind of pumping out my charms. So. I got some clay cutters to help out with that. Something I did like a lot though was how quickly paint dries because the air dry clay is super porous. So the clay just sucks up the paint so I don't have to wait ages for it to dry and that is like super, super cool. But all in all, it was a good experience and a successful test. So all the charms in this drop will be made from air dry clay. He's done baking and look at him, my fishy king. <laughs> I also did my makeup today. I did orange eyeshadow. It is kimchi chic. I think it matches my top. Uh -huh. I already put a white over the top, so now I'm going to put on my colors. And I think I'm gonna do a blue and red kind of palette, like blue. Blue, pink, and red, I think.
this is the reality of my desk right now. It's it's not pretty. It's not pretty. It's like 5.15 right now, and it, th I still have some natural light, which is wonderful. And I thought I'd do a little update. I didn't vlog too much today, because this morning my sister and I filmed a fun YouTube video. We did the uh, Draw Pokemon from Memory Challenge, and I just want to do it for fun. I mean, it's kind of art-related, but I, it's not studio vlog content. I just want to do it like purely just for fun. And so I was a little bit videoed out. So yesterday and today has just been a lot of testing out air dry clay and it's a bit tricky and i'm not i'm not used to it so it's taking a bit longer than usual and i think i found my rhythm with polymer clay i think i just got my little stamper and i just do 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 and i just would stamp them all out and it would be good and I, I had my process down if that makes sense but now because i'm pivoting not only my clay but i'm also experimenting with new designs it's just everything's taking a bit longer than usual which does happen when you're testing out new designs. I feel like prototypes are really necessary and mock-ups and such. So I just have to trust the process and trust that everything's gonna work out. These are just some sketches I did. This is, I think is the final. I don't know if I'll have another, this is just a lot of work. So I think I might just have Lotus and two beads or the Lotus, the, um, the middle leaf part and then a bead. I think that would be really beautiful. This is my plan for these. I didn't actually end up sculpting out the leaf because one, I forgot. <laughs> and it is a lot of extra labor to make sure that little leaf comes out right. So I'm rethinking that. This is the design for these. And I don't know if it's gonna come out exactly like this, but yeah. I want to try out some kind of like um, rain cloud and window pane situation and um, do like pencil and scribbles and that will be a jump ring right there. There, every time I make earrings, I learn about something new and now that I'm trying more ambitious designs, I'm really learning that it's not just the art and the sculpting clay part, a lot goes into the actual jewelry making part. For example, if I want a frog to hang above a little lily pad, I have to think about um, this screw eye hook and I have to think about how that's going to connect to the bottom and then I'm going to have to think about the lily pad and where I'm going to enter a hook here and how I'm going to twist the metal. So the reason these guys are so long is because I'm going to cut the wire here and then string some more beads on. It's Wednesday and today I think I am going to try to get a lot done today. Yesterday I worked on my air dry earring prototypes and I think I'm going to continue doing that. So I think it took me a while to kind of get the hang of it and realize that I can't mass produce 40. I have to figure out how to use the materials first. So I'm going to make um, I think three prototypes of my orange earrings. They look like this now. They're just like this. They're really cute. They look like a little candy. Um, this is made with air dry clay and the Patico gloss, and I think the shine is great. It's a little bit lumpy, but I think in the next round, I can try working on using a lot of water to smooth it out so it's not too lumpy. If one of my earrings doesn't look completely smooth and like a little robot made it, I'm, I'm not going to be upset about it. I think having a little indents and bumps are really charming and handmade pieces and I feel like a lot of people feel the same. 
like that, like a little stack of oranges with some cute chains at the bottom that I'm going to do with uh, jump rings, but I'm not sure if my jump rings are the right size, so I might have to repurchase. Boom. This is a little booty, a little fishy booty. And that's the side, and that's the front. And yeah, he's storing some memory cards right now in his mouth, but he could definitely put, he could definitely put change in here. I was making my clay earrings the other day, just working with air dry clay, and I got this like memory of back in elementary school when we would make these clay fishies. And I posted on Instagram and a bunch of people also commented like, oh, I made that in elementary school too. And I just think it's so cute. Here it is. I think I'm going to make more uh, and try to sell them on Etsy. And if they don't sell, it's not a big deal. I can just gift them to people. I realized that studio vlogs are really time consuming for me to edit and I really enjoy making them. Um, I, studio vlogs are like one of my favorite things to make in terms of videos. They do take a really long time to edit, mainly because there's so much disparate footage from different days and there's talking segments and time lapse. So there's just a, a variety of different footage that you have to piece together in a way that kind of makes sense. And even the rough cut takes a long time. So I've been trying to find a way to manage that better because I do like uploading every week, but it's just, it's at the point where sometimes if my rough cut takes too long, I won't, I'll, and I wanna put my video up by Sunday, I'll end up working the entire week and not have one day, minimum one day, just entirely for me to rest. So something I'm gonna try to do is edit and try to do like a routine rough cut and just upload my footage at the end of every day. And so by the end of the week, I won't have as much um, busy editing work to do. So I'm gonna try to edit today as well. Spicy? Paw? No, 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 hit the hand. Paw? That's pretty good. That was pretty good. I don't want, they don't like shake. Okay, one last one. Paw? Paw? <laughs> ah, she did it! The gentlest touch. I'm excited about these. God, they're so off center. <laughs> Damn it. Let's see. They're like off center. It's, oh, whoa, it's, it's where the paper cutter is. It's not on you. I think this is so cute. Oh my God. Yeah, this one is less. Oh, if I, he if sits. I sits, I sits. You sad. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> you're too big for that little box. No, you're too big. Also, there's there's this in here. So there okay, so the front just says, thank you for your support. And there's a picture of a bunny and a little spicy loaf and then on the back i have this note that says um please reuse and recycle the packaging a little thank you note and then a bunch of links and then i have these pretty oranges that i drew spicy she really has to be involved in everything julia's gonna try to put spicy in the hood but i know this is not gonna end well oh god no okay She's not, she's staying. Oh no, here we go. Oh, hugging, chomping. Lightly biting. Julia just picked up food and I'm so excited to eat this. So you said this is poutine? Yes, lamb poutine. It smells so good. And this is falafel wrap? Yeah, they're like house made falafel. Let's see the falafel wrap. 
That looks good. Yeah, we get to play. That is so good. I think um, I like the length and I like how it looks from afar and they're super light, which I'm really loving because I think the air dryer really helps it be lighter, but I think it looks good. I like the length, but I'm still figuring out how I want all these linkages to look. Um, but as you can see, they're quite dangly, but I like the length. I think it'll look good. Like if you have your hair down too, it's like moment. Watching Anusha's premiere. I love YouTube premieres. But I finished my earring prototypes and now I'm just gonna pick some good ones and edit it for Instagram. So many different vibes. Oh, no, I don't like that. <laughs> I like the white bead more. But yeah, those are my prototypes. It's Thursday, I just finished making a TikTok and posting on Instagram. It's it's a lot. It's really being a social, being your own social media manager is, is quite a lot, as I'm sure my fellow artists know. Just keeping up with everything is really really exhausting. But I posted my earrings, my new designs, and people seem to really like it, which is really exciting. And yeah, I posted the TikTok as well. And now I'm going to be making some more fishies. I want to make some frogs as well and just kind of let my imagination run wild. Maybe I'll make a different kind of animal as well. We'll see. Maybe like a big bunny. Yes. <laughs> cool. They're done. Three little frogs. I'm really excited to paint them. It's so small, it's gonna be great for making little lotus earrings. So I'm gonna be using this today, I believe.
Good morning. This is what my loaf came out to look like. We already ate like half of it. But I mean, look at that glisten. Look at her glisten. Damn. It's really good. I I am very pleased with it. And it's a bit moist, but that's okay. It's okay. Hello, it's Friday. Yay! Um, we made it through another week. This morning, I it's about like 11.30 right now, and this morning I was watching one of Lee's videos on eco-friendly packaging, and I sort of just went through all these charms I made last night and attached a little bit of glue at the top where the keyhole I think it's like the key screw eye pins are, for example. So because I'm no longer using UV resin, resin acts as not only the glaze and a sealer, but it's also super strong. So I would be very comfortable knowing that this top part wouldn't fall out or loosen, which is definitely a big fear when making charms and stuff and something that I don't want to happen. So now that I'm no longer using resin, I'm just using a glossy sealer. I have been a little bit worried about that. So my quick fix was just to take some jewelry glue and put it at the top here where the um, eye pin meets the clay. And I think that'll be fine. And then I'll put paint over all of it and then glaze over all of it. And I feel like that will make it extra secure. This glue is super, super strong. So I have no, I have no worries. I think it'll be fine. And as always, if something falls out, I think it's an easy fix. And I can also fix it for people if that happens to you. But yeah, it took a while, but they're all done. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm just drying there. The glue is pretty much dried now, but I'm giving the air dry clay a bit more time to dry as well before I put another coat. I also wanted to take this time to talk a little bit about some studio vloggers and artists I've been really loving to watch lately because I feel like in the past few months, I've discovered a bunch of new artists and it's just been really nice to watch all their videos while I'm crafting. It just feels like someone is also keeping you company and doing art related things. So yeah, people I have been loving lately. I spent yesterday watching Mel's video, AKA Small Art. I'm sure some of you, I'm sure a lot of you know who Mel is, but I, I really like her videos. They're I just give me a lot of like cozy vibes. Um, stop. <laughs> um, someone else I've also really been loving to watch is Natasha. Um, her Instagram handle is Sad Shrimps. And yeah, I love her earrings that she makes. They're so cool. I've really never seen designs like hers before. So I really love how unique they are. She uses like really fun colors and shapes and just like, I'm, I'm all about it. Someone I've been watching for quite some time now is Anna Molly. I love her video. I started watching her because of her Animal Crossing videos that are awesome, but now she makes studio vlogs. So she's making a lot of like clay charms with Chinese nodding and they're super pretty. And yeah, I just love her style. I love her videos. Yeah, highly, highly recommend her as well.
he's so cute. Look at that. Amazing. I'm very, very happy. They're quite lumpy, if you can see, especially from the sides and from the back. Definitely has like a, a kid look about them, but I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of trying to abandon this whole I want everything to look like a robot made it. I think if I used air dry and a sponge, it can make it look a bit smoother, but I didn't have enough air dry clay to make these, so I had to use polymer, and it was just... It's very time consuming for me to smooth out every little bit. So yeah, it's quite lumpy, but again, I think it adds a bit of a charm, but if you don't, that's okay. <laughs> but hopefully people will still want to buy them even though they're they're kind of lumpy. so much for watching i appreciate you spending time with me and i'll see you in my video next week it'd be great if you could like comment and subscribe that goes a really long way in helping me out and boosting my engagement i hope you have a good week ahead of you i hope you're taking care of yourself drinking water and see you next week bye <laughs>